Thanks for listening, for looking me in the eye, for being aware of what you feel without confusing your feelings with mine, or jumping to the conclusion that the messages your feelings are sending you should be immediately, automatically shared with me. For having your thoughts, your reactions, even your judgments without yielding to the compulsion to correct, to criticize, to condemn, to direct, to instruct, to fix. For appreciating the difference between my aspirations and your perceptions. For inquiring with respect and empathy. Before offering your suggestions, your advice. For pausing when my flow of words has stopped to consider whether you need to say what you're considering saying, the purpose of saying what you're thinking of saying, for allowing each of us to be. I spent a little time on the mountain, I spent a little time on the hill, heard some say better run away, others say stand still. I don't know, but I've been told in the heat of the sun a man died of cold. Do we keep on coming or standing? The sun so low and the hour so late. For once, on the face of this earth, let's not speak any language. Let's stop for one second. Not move our arms so much. It would be an exotic moment. Without rush, without engines, we'd all be together in a sudden strangeness. The fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales. The man who gathers his salt would look at his hurt hands. Those who prepare green wars, war with fire, war with gas. Victory with no survivors would put on clean clothes. Walk about with their brothers in the shade doing not want this to be about total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want no truck with death. If we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving, if for once we could do nothing, perhaps a huge silence would interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves. threatening ourselves with death. Perhaps we can learn from the earth when everything seems to be dead and later proves to be alive. Let's be so